Oh, all right. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys, I don't know. I don't know if anybody else is experiencing um, getting downloads right now, but I'm I'm getting a lot of them in my crown. So um, they're asking me because we're all connecting that the group is like like we've gotten together as different group aspects before, but not necessarily as this group. And so they want me to um, join uh, join the energy field. And I know Adam will do this often too. So if you're open to it, I can just go ahead and do a little bit of light language for you guys. Um, yeah, so this everybody, if they don't know, um, everything is good. Uh, nothing can be taken from you. And then just get some attention to your quick that all activations, upgrades, and expansions coming from your higher self team. So like we'll just connect a higher self level with everybody who's watching and stuff. So that way when we're connecting fields and everything like that, uh, it is more right. create like a field for the highest good of everything. And nobody, there's, it's all sacred space and everybody's protected. Yay. Yeah. Yes, and so, um, and David, I know you usually do this where you're pulling in the light, but I'm just going to do a, um, an overage of uh, just asking you to think about your crowns being open and your feet being grounded to your root chakra, through your root chakra into Gaia, where she lovingly will transmute any negative energies or anything low by frequency or vibration that needs to be cleared from you. So just bringing in that cosmic diamond like now, just filling it, going through your chakra system. I'm not going to list them all. You know what they are. David may pull them in and out. Front of the chakra, back to the chakra. I... <coughs> They've been having me do this um, overtone notes lately to hit multiple dimensions at the same time. So many of you beings are dimensional travelers. I'm hearing that there's uh, many galactic families that are here, so they're giving me different uh, codes for each of you based on your galactic families. That's why you're going to hear these transitions of uh, the way the sounds are transmitted. This is a faith. Egyptian timelines. Dragon. <laughs> Good Lord. <laughs> That's me saying good Lord. Blessings to all of you. I'm hearing namaste. Uh, they just wanted to do like that frequency joining, clearing, and activation it's a heart activation for each of you so um as you're if you go back and listen to this later go ahead and accept it pull it into your heart or maybe you were listening with your heart when it was first being transmitted um i usually don't get these energies until after i go back and listen to them and then i'm like power blast <laughs> so i thank you for letting me um share those um uh, blessings and clearings and activations with you thank you Okay. <clears throat> All right. So um, while that was going on, those are some nice dragon codes you're bringing in too. Um, the uh, 
the teams over at Mount Olympus coming in and um, saying what the to me anyways and what if anybody else get and we can all participate in this they're explaining to me how to do it um, but uh, it's belief grids uh, to create belief grids and the placement of the collective heart as they're awakening um, so essentially um, it, it's uh, we're going to raise our vibration up to be in the like um, in the energies of Olympus basically in, in God consciousness you want to call it um, but to create belief grids, forge them in the fires of Olympus, right? That's what I'm being told. It's crazy. I don't know. I'm a crazy guy. Um, but we create them with our intentions, uh, basically, and, and it all comes down into like um, being unlimited, an unlimited being, right? And then when we create <clears throat> the belief grids, we'll basically fire them through the out the gates of Olympus. Is this is another vibration above. Um, it's different than the angelic realm, right? Um, <clears throat> so it's like you get in the angelic realm, you obviously have your angels and everything. And then in Olympus, you have your God consciousness, but there's also, you know, they're just different levels of experience. Um, so belief grids. Um, so I, I don't I think this is pretty easy to do. Um, but we got to go um, into our center, into our center of our heart into the center of the creation of the self. Um, so it's not not too difficult to do. So uh, now there's a guy here, but if you wanna just make sure that all higher selves are bringing down tremendous amounts of golden rays over everybody, all the way up to Olympus, all the way up, well, to higher self and then down to Olympus energies, really higher self is above Olympus um, energies. So, but we got to go there. So just make sure that we create landable bridges for everybody here. So we all have keys to uh, yeah, access to um, Olympus energies, Olympus consciousness. Um, oh, I'm not sure if Phil's got a whole other part of this. Yeah. So descending below down your pillar of light. Our golden angels, the Valkyrie, the Valkyrie coming down, the Valkyrie coming down, the old, the old archangels, okay, so the priests are coming down, um, ascending down to pillars of light, golden angels, um, and they're just going to guide you just with your intention, place your concentration that they're grabbing your head consciously, they're grabbing your essence, your awareness your center point and they're bringing you into your heart space and they're bringing you into the depths going deep into your divine core to your I am to the center of creation within self where all all is possible there is the collective heart fields uh, as we're part of them apparently so, okay this is where we'll create faith fields uh, all right so, so i'm gonna go back up to the energies of olympus quick while I'm here Okay, that's simple enough. All right, so we're just going to call on the energies of Olympus to come within our hearts, the energies of the God consciousness, the energies of Olympus, the vibration, the consciousness of Olympus to come in down our pillar, come through to in our heart to the center of creation, the self to work with us specifically. It is not to stay necessarily, right? No, uh, it is only to assist us in forging the faith grids for the collective heart. Okay. So everyone has layers of disbelief in the collective consciousness, <clears throat> the collective grids within their heart chakra. We are going to remove them. The ones from ascension. 
and replace them with faith faith prints. Uh, they should be removing the limited beliefs. Uh, it's like an upgrade. Uh, I'm not going to remove anything, so I'm going to call on the higher selves of all the collective if they want to uh, remove the grids for them while we place the new grids in. So be it. Um, so faith grids. So we're in the center of creation of self. All uh, lightning family is around us. There's uh, a lot of wounds. There's a lot of wounds we got to fix first, guys, here. So uh, in the collective heart, <clears throat> there's a lot of wounds based around disbelief, based around sadness of, of life and everything here. And if we don't clear that, then it's, it's not going to properly integrate. So we just got to send in our... Uh, collective love energy or heart energy to the collective heart to heal their wounds, self-doubt, fears, and isolation. They've been traumatized over the years. They've been conditioned and it needs to be removed. Uh, so we're going to transmute and heal the wounds within their heart chakras. And as we're doing this, we're going to force the, the grids here, the grid creation. <clears throat> so Munich fields of all of our heart chakras at the center of creation of self. We're going to come together here to create the unlimited being, um, the dreamer. So what does an unlimited being look like to you? What can they do? What can they manifest? In the collective field, for everybody here that is watching, uh, so this will also be a faith fit for you. Uh, we're gonna create together here uh, a frequency here of being unlimited. Uh, Create miracles, uh, ascending all that this structure, this reality can do here. Okay. So whatever you think. Uh, so we're only inviting intentions of the highest light intentions. Uh, for the highest good for all here, for all who are watching, for all humanity. So if anybody tries to play something in this field that is not of the light, it will not be accepted. And it is governed by the uh, by the guards of Olympus, by the guards of time. And uh, so it cannot be done. You cannot enter anything that is not of the benefit of the highest order of love into this creation. So we have, we have God consciousness working and they're helping with some shields and everything. So it's going to get a little bit hairy out there during the collective awakening. Um, oh, they're shielding the grids. Uh, sorry, <clears throat> I just got confused. They're not placing anything and they're just shielding this creation uh, to make sure that everything's of the highest order of light. So um, things to, to place in there are for the highest order of your brother, like the pu like so much love that you would have for your brothers, your family, your like loving everybody like you want the best for them, right? So you want the best for them. So you like you start imagining their freedom, imagining like them breaking out of the cycles of time, being unlimited being governed by the rules of their hearts, you know, being able to do things like fly, 
shapeshift, teleport, and all those keys that come in for that will come into these grids. Um, <clears throat> The end, the end of poverty conscious, being able to believe that we're gonna to forge together in groups and communities to end poverty consciousness like across the world. It is a faith so grand in our collective and individual power. Uh, and believing that all those who have played in the dark will come to the light that they can ascend for they <clears throat> for they don't believe this um, so, so this grid and the collective will go to everybody so it is a love for all of humanity as equals But to be unlimited. The love of the diamond tribe, the children of the earth. Uh, <clears throat> these codes also will help in their creations. Uh, they are the future, of course. They are here to witness <clears throat> the evolution of consciousness. Who are they? Uh, they're, just, they're talking about the diamond children again. It's going to bring in the, the fires of Olympus to forge this. The supreme power of consciousness, the unlimited source being, forging the fires of Olympus within itself, well, so within ourselves right now, because we've got the energies of Olympus to us. <clears throat> And we're going to tune these vibrations of these grids, of these faith grids, into the collective heart now. Removing the disbeliefs from the heart centers so that they may awaken in power, awaken in unity, awaken in love and belief. They will know it, they'll just know it to be true. So we're just dispersing it in the grid creation. And the higher self level can take over to integrate. It's been a while since we did grid creation together. Um, so we're going to prove our spreads. Dragons are coming in here to forge as well. They're transmuting uh, during integration. Okay. It is like a combinational field work that's happening here. The dragon's energies are coming in to clear out the 
is the densities within the grids, so the old grids that these new frequencies can expand in everybody's heart, basically. Uh, it's being unlimited, being in their power. That's what this portal is about, it's a power portal. That's why the faith grid is important this time. It's the collective is going to be awakening. And you're removing the fears from the heart chakras. Um, so they'll know all this to be true. They won't be guessing, wondering. At first, maybe they will. It's the first thing they might be like, what? But innately within the heart, they'll have this knowing that this is truth, uh, not fiction. That what's happening to them, the energies that they're feeling with inside of them, is the power of the God within, of their power, their sovereignty. As we know it, we already know this. They just won't know it. Um, so this is going to assist all of the collective during the awakening process. That already has assisted the collective. Um, what? They've created a time portal to go back towards the beginning of this year. Uh, uh, so there's just been this big shift in the beginning of this, this year. So what we're doing right now <clears throat> is um, they're running through timelines from the beginning of this year to the awakening throughout the whole awakening. Uh, and, and these energies are going through everybody. So it's happening now in the past and in the future at the same time. Basically. The multidimensional self. Golden vibrations of sound are just coming over everybody right now. It's coming from the Golden Avian Collective. They're just making waves and frequencies of golden light. No ways. Bill, are you getting anything? Um, I was just being guided to ask you if, um, if there's anything that you want to do, because I think we're almost, <sighs> no, we can see you. Yeah, I am getting, uh, it's the 20th of February. <laughs> Supposed to be an, an event for the 20th of February. That's what I'm getting. You're talking about next year. No, no, I've still got COVID now. Are you talking about the 20th of February, like two days ago? 22nd, sorry. <clears throat> Mostly a celebration of a life. Uh, oh, yeah. Fem Divine Feminine. Ah, so yeah. All right. It's for like Skylanders. That Adrian has. You just press a button and it lights up. <laughs> so if everyone just wants to bring their awareness into your 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 guide teams that are around right now. 
there's a lot of just rainbow light beans, um, source beans with a rainbow light. It's a lot of elders, a lot of Egyptian gods. ET aspects, um, a consciousness array of the families of light. Um, of course, the angelic families, the magicians, the magicians of the past. And of course, the dragon, the golden dragon is coming as well. Uh, so I think that's Sophia's other dragon. This one here with the ruby eyes. <clears throat> Golden with ruby eyes. Okay. Just going to bring in frequencies here for everybody. If anybody's been tired, just for recharging all the energy centers. And healing energies as well. We're being uplifted in frequency right now to match the new grid structures. Um, so anybody who has not uh, hit the new levels of the universal structure. There's just an arrangement of frequency that's happening right now. Oh yeah, solar grids. All right, so there's solar solar grids, the cells, the solar grids, uh, where it's going to help everybody for anchoring the light that's going to be coming in. Uh, being attuned to the new grid creations of the future, um, basically. Um, so it won't be so overbearing when this wave hits. You'll be feeling a lot of expansion within yourself. Like the energy's vibrating and integrating the new frequencies. Uh, but you'll be able to withstand much when the big solar energies come in next month. Yeah, this like Phil was saying, the celestial family celebrate you. Yeah, David. Uh, this morning, I channeled one of my aspects, Saint Germain, and he's given me a method of cleansing everyone's chakra using the violet flame. So when you're ready, I'd like to do that. Go for it. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. If everyone just closes their eyes, every breathing, and we're going to go to Stonehenge. Right, so we're going to astro travel or use a portal to Stonehenge. It's quite breezy at the moment. We give it a few minutes. Let's all meet there. Let's hold hands. We're soul family. Okay. In the middle, uh, Saint Germain has given us a the violet flame, the original violet flame from the 1300s. And this is, uh, this is what he told me to, to a way of cleansing every chakra. 
So if you can visualize the crown chakra, which is normally like a lilac or white, yeah? A lot of times this is blocked by ego, okay? And to unblock this ego, you've got to think of it, a, a point in time when you your ego's overtook itself, okay? If you can't think of anything like that, just say the word ego, yeah? So have this focused in your mind's eye, mindset, sorry. See the flame, the flame is starting to change from maybe a bit of white because of the crown chakra. Have a big breathe through your nostrils of the violet flame. Breathe as much as you can in while you're thinking of your ego, okay? Breathe it in. Everyone do it, hold it there for five, and then let it out with your mouth and breathe out, get rid of your ego that's blocking your crown chakra. The next chakra is your third eye. And this is sometimes blocked by illusion. Yeah, so you have illusion. Now, obviously, sometimes you don't know what that is, so just say the word illusion. And you'll see the violet flame turning into a bit of blue in there because you're thinking of your third eye. Your mindset is concentrating on the third eye. So breathe the violet flame into your nose. Hold it there for five. And then breathe out the illusion. The next one is your throat chakra. And this is sometimes blocked by lies, right? Because it's a truth for uh, uh, throat chakra. So this time, think of any times when you've even done a little white light, or, or just say the word lie. Breathe into your nose, the violet flame, while you're thinking of this lie. Hold it there for five. And then breathe it out. The next one is art chakra. And this is like for grief. This can be blocked by grief. So at any time you've ever had any grief, focus on that moment in time. Breathe in the violet flame into your nose while you're thinking of the grief. And then let it go. The next one is soul plexus, and this can be blocked by shame, okay? So think of the time when you felt shame, okay? So then breathe in the violet flame in your nose, think of shame. Hold it there for five. And let it go. go. The next one is the sacro or shikro, I can't say it very well. And this is normally blocked by guilt. But again, breathe in the violet flame. Hold it there. And let it go. The last one is the root chakra, which is normally blocked by fear. I think of times when you've had any fear, or say the word fear. Breathe in the violet flame, hold it there for five, and let it go. And the last thing you do, channel the violet flame into your crown chakra, and to all the, all the chakras, they work like a, a clock, like a, a gearing, push the violet flame into the gearing, right down to every chakra, right down to your root chakra and then ground it. And that is how you cleanse your chakra system. Is that okay, David? Yeah, oh, that's cool, man, good work. I enjoy that. Oh, I love the violet flame. Love it. It's nice. I'm sure everybody appreciated that one. So if anyone's got headaches, anything like that, do that one. Do they have a date? <laughs> Did what? you say? If anyone's got any illness, 
try oh. the uh, cleansing of your chakra system. I thought you were talking about purple flaming dates. Like, if you're going on a date, make sure you purple flame their chakras. So it's like, what? I'm like, I guess that makes sense. Good point, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> uh, always bring the protection of the violet flame. Did you know that uh, Saint Germain was a sorcerer? But he had a lot of religion around him. So he had to. Uh, pretend he was religious, so. very mm. spiritual. That was nice. Mm. All right, Adam, you got something, I know it. it's on your mind. Adam. What do you want? <laughs> I just feel like um, in my heart, there's a lot of like, everyone should open up their heart. There's like lots of grief. You want to clear the grief out of the heart? Yeah. Yeah, you know oh, that. Didn't we, just, didn't we just do that? Adam? The, uh, that, that was for the saying. individual. That's for everyone. That's for everyone to do it. The collective. He's talking about the collective. Ah. Oh. All right, you guys want to do a massive purple flame on the chakras of the collective? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking now. I was thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I like your style. I knew Adam had something. All right, Phil, guide us through. Do you know, you're speaking, Leslie, should you be on mute? Oh, sorry, I thought I was on mute. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, Phil. All right. All right, let's... So what, what are we doing, sorry? We're gonna create a purple flame over the collective chakra system, like a, the collective heart. So they got the collective chakra. Okay. All are attached to, right? Uh, Gaia chakras, basically Gaia chakras and chakras of the, of the collective all around the world. Is it worth just doing it through the consciousness? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So if we all yes, work with Phil, work with Saint, Saint Germain. If we all agree so, that. Mm. so I'm actually um, when you first started working with the violet flame, I was hearing Saint Germain give me the advice of um, going to his crystal temple because he has a healing temple of the violet flame. And so let's go ahead and bring that crystal and energy in. I know we were using the violet flame and going through the magical. Um, do, do, you mean, of, do you mean tell us? <laughs> um, temple well, of tell us. Yep. Through yeah, exactly. Through Tellos. So, um, his, because he's got that, I mean, everything crystal is like got that violet vibrancy to it. So, yeah. Okay. Fill in. So we're all going to Tellos. Yep. Mm -hmm. The then, energy of Mount Shasta, you guys. And then channel that into the subcon into the consciousness and then everyone's art chakra. So so if we all if we all have our arts to link together as one, yeah. yeah, let's do that. We'll make a collective part of chakra ourselves. Okay. That connection is done. Mm -hmm. So we're going to channel this where we are. We're at the Tellus Temple. It's like a golden floor, actually. Uh, where the violet flames kept. And we're connecting to the consciousness of everyone who accepts this, obviously. And to transmute like all our grief. Replace it with love.
I'm sending in the magenta ray to go into people's hearts chakra as they're being opened up and the grief is being released so that they will feel that coming in like um, like little air bubbles. Uh, it'll be gentle and not like a shock to their system. It's going to bring in the golden flame, the golden flame on top as they're releasing it will add the golden energies to the heart. So the vacuum is being replaced by the golden flag. I just heard it is done, it is done, it is done. Next. <laughs> <laughs> What's next, Adam? <laughs> <laughs> okay, but do you fancy going to the magic planet or talk to you? I'm feeling like we should go to the crystalline core. The crystal planet, you say, oh, crystalline well, Earth. Yeah, crystalline Earth. It's been a colony since the beginning. Just, uh, you're working with all those crystals down there, right? Yeah. Right, and channel, while we're at the temple, channel the violet flame into the crystalline Earth. I don't know. I just want to connect with it and see what's going on down there. Yeah, connect with it and find out because I just heard, oh, that's my realm. So I don't know who said that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tanyana, Tanyana Melamine. My creator being aspect. Fractal, I don't know, self. I don't know how you call it. So we, we can connect to the Andara crystals that connect to the pyramid network that connect to the crystalline earth. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So the best way I do this is merge with my crystalline being to get the power. So all you have to do is merge with your highest aspect, semi merge, so you're still in the body. And it's like two, two inside, but your eye vibration. What? Uh, sorry. Um, you know uh, the Blu rays? Blu rays. Uh, I think everybody has a Blu ray aspect, I'm sure of it. Um, if it's a 144 activation, they want to come in into the crystalline core of Gaia, so that we can channel them collectively, our Blu-ray aspects of our Blu-ray codes to come into the crystalline core of Gaia. It's, it's a frequency that wants to be power, power in the crystalline core. I'm seeing a... Um, uh... Uh, crystal like clear crystal quartz pyramid and it's next to um like a body like a stream of water so they're they're pulling in element energy so i you know if you haven't already tapped into earth air fire and water um, but they are definitely pulling the water and energy which i think is maybe pulling in more of the divine feminine Oh, nice. yeah. Everybody's Blu ray aspect create a supercharge.
You can see the crystalline pulse in that. I really, yeah, I really want a channel violet flame into it. Because that'll, circul that'll circulate through the earth and people's mindsets might change from negative to positive. Do it, channel it. Okay. They're using a star. Yeah. You might feel the uh, I'm starting to feel my head buzzing actually. Has a lot of energy. It's good and ground. Send some grounding codes to everybody just in case. I'm just asking your higher self, ask us to come down, to bring all the frequencies down through everybody here, through the soles of their feet, just to help them ground all this light coming in. Is this is a guy at with this integration. She's happy. It's good. Um, so it's going to assist us as well. So the integration process, yeah, it's been hard for everybody for sure. Um, so this light that we just brought in, it's assisting Gaia now, which is going to assist everybody in the integration process will be come easier in this whole principle of ascension. Let's go. Oh, that light, I tell you. Oh, yeah, have you got any water? Drink it. And tune in at anybody here collectively, individually, I mean, of any anything at a collective level. That's just easier for everybody to. All right, let's call in the source expansions for everybody from their higher selves to come in. All the source expansions that you need. Um, there's a there's a heart release that I'm feeling needs to be done, and I'm being told that it's a serious uh, one of the serious B healing. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll call it an activity that I was taught in one of my healing sessions. But basically, if everybody could stretch their arms out like a T, and what you imagine is that your heart is expanding while your arms are out, and then while your hands and palms are open, you kind of like flap your arms back and forth, not up and down, but back and forth. And as it opens, your chest broadens and opens, and then imagine your light, your being's light expanding out from your heart. And then that helps to, um, that helps to uh, connect in with Gaia as well, because we're the light workers. We, we, our soul family is, we are here to bring the light. We are here to move the light. And so as, as a light worker, as you're sending your light out, you are the, you are the triangle between mother, father, God, and you. So when you're doing this, you're doing this back and forth, and it really only takes a few moments, just take a brief, deep breath in and then breathe out. And as you're breathing out, just move your arms back and forth with the intention of sending out your light. Go ahead and do that now. Do it for the count of five. Do that now. Breathe in. <coughs> and out. <sighs> mm. 
I feel a lightness around me when I did that. So I hope that all of you feel that as well. Thank you for your work. Wendy, they said, they said breathe in the Christed light. To bring in the Christed light? Breathe that in. Yeah. All right, breathe it in. All right, let's do it one more time. This time we're gonna bring it in for five. Hold it for five, the Christed light, and then we'll breathe it out for five. So arms expanded again. Breathe in for five, the Christed light. Moving your arms. Holding for five. And breathing out for five, the Christed light. <sighs> Beautiful. Thank you. Namaste. David, can we do something with the dragons? Because we've just seen an emerald green one recently. That dragon came out and started channeling the other day. Oh my God, just like a power dragon. Dragon, dragon, dragon. I wonder who doesn't have a dragon. Oh, we certainly can. Let's see here. Show me that. Try there is our with there's the dragons around us. It's this whole this whole event that we've been doing here. The universal dragon. This guy is as big as the universe. Just channeling in the universal dragon consciousness. Uh, it's codes. Parishkinya parish parishi varana matiyashkara paraniyashkara parishiniyashkara. He's on careful. This is a lot of light. Parishkara parite paravaka parishkara piniyashkara paravaka mayashkara niyashkara paravaka niyashkara paravaka tuji paravichi paravichi. And then the parikara ish paravichi. He's gonna blast this thing. Three-headed dragon. This is the three-headed dragon. Puriya karo poish purniya parniya parra karachi kariya paravatai. He just wants to upgrade um, on a guy, I call him a guy for drowning. Shoot, push, 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 ground, 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 ground. Ground, 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 ground. Shush, going to ask higher self level. All dragons, all dragons, all dragons to come, to come, to upgrade all those who need dragon consciousness, to upgrade all those who protect those, to protect those, to guide those, all who are going to be awakening. They'll assist all, they'll assist in the clearings, the clearings, this is the densities during the Great Awakening, they'll assist in the clearings, the clearings, and they'll guide and protect all throughout all the timelines. Yeah. Oh, the man, I just got hit with some crazy injuries there. Uh, Nice. David, David, your your higher self gave me a, a ball, a silver ball. Silver. And yeah, and then I put it into a, a pyramid opened up. I oh, thought yeah. it was water, and I put it in the pyramid, and then you said that's when you said oh, I got blasted by light because it went. Uh, <laughs> cool. Yeah. I said I was really seriously vibrating when you did that light. I wish the dragon. I saw the dragon's face and it was scaring the crap out of me, but it was okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to get used to it. <laughs> it's just like, really? <laughs> so black, it's really black. Big, big dragon. Yeah, it was uh -huh. took up the whole everything. It was black, like it's this black, black, black. Uh, 
That was just about me. I feel a lot better in my heart, Shark, for now. A lot of flames going on in the session, guys. <laughs> <laughs> they got like the purple flame, the golden flame, and then these universal dragon. The cards. A lot of collective work. So, Susan, you want to do your dragon language? Please. Yeah, I can do some. Yeah. Okay. I have a new earth dragon guide. Yeah, he'll come in. I have a few dragon guides. I was gonna, I was gonna say, Susan, with dragon priestesses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have we, baby, yeah. I have baby dragons Surrounded. around me too. Yeah. Hosia Kitia, Sukutia, Sukuya, Sia Takaya, Tia, Sukoya, Sakia, Hia Zukota, Yea, Zia, Sukutoya, Zia, Hia Zukoya, Zia, Tokoya, Zia, Tokoya, Zia, Sukutoya, Hia Zia, Tokotaya, Sita, Tokoya, Zia, Sukutoya. Thank you for coming together as one. Zia, Tia, Tia, Sukutoya. Your power is great. Shine your light brightly. We are here to support you always. Much love and blessings. Thank you. Cool. Thanks. <laughs> you are welcome. So the last two two event we did was a witnessing of the collective awakening and this one was more for our collective clearing collective healing and uh, to assist them during the awakening so that's kind of a nice uh one two a eh? uh or a nice two two if you look at, at the two two <laughs> we did it on the twos the two days the two days of the two months two 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 four twos and the five two Nine twos, you know. And the twos are upside right and right side upside down. <laughs> if you do those, you know, if you do those numerical twos that are like, look like, um, I don't know, the like clock numbers, if you, if you do the date that way, then you can, it goes forward and backwards is the same and up and down is the same too. <laughs> I it's forget what it's called. Gun. It's, it's got a name for it, I don't know. But in America, it's different. <laughs> you do the numbers the other uh, way, don't you? Yeah, they were definitely, it was definitely clearing because um, the fire energies, um, they have me working with fire energies a lot because, you know, being old souls, we have lots of old, old beings that we get to tap into. And so one of my aspects is Pele. And then I also, my dragon guide is Pele. So I don't know, um, I don't know if my dragon guide is, um, if they're the same, if the goddess and the dragon are like a being or they're aspects of each other to experience that life and different things. But anyway, that volcanic heat and fire, that flame is uh, cleansing and clearing. So I know a lot of times if, um, if people are saying, oh, there's a volcano over here or a volcano over there, or there's a fire that's happening, whenever you are seeing that being represented, then um, throw your shit in there, your garbage, anything that you're thinking, oh man, this has been like really bugging me and I'm tired, I'm like so done with that. Like put your intention to throw that kind of energy into the fire because then what will happen is that fire will like, like, you know, like um, just like when you add paper to a fire that's already started, right? It kind of flames up a little bit more. So that's what it'll do. So it'll flame up more, but then it'll burn out faster. So that way it'll be like lo less loss of property, um, less loss of life. 
And so you're, you may be thinking, oh crap, there's fire that's happening, but that fire is actually a cleansing energy and Gaia is using it to help benefit not just herself, but all of us, all of the people. So, um, so the faster we can help it burn out <laughs> is kind of the guidance that I was giving to, to tell you with the working with the fire dragon and that fire energy. So yeah, cool, <laughs> cool stuff. <Let's laughs> Yeah, flame energy. You can give away all your, your woes to the flame. <laughs> Susan, when you did your light language, I was hearing courage and lineheartedness from your dragons. That's what it felt like. Whatever's going forward, is, that's what's going to need it. And that's what they'll be bringing to us courage and lineheartedness. Yes. Um, yeah, I know. Yeah, Ulrich, my new earth, new earth dragon, he is like gold and red, or he's got like a red ruby heart and gold. And I know he's been, um, I just typed in chat that he's been illuminating like my orc field with like golden white Christed lights. And I know a couple people that <laughs> Wendy's holding up her dragon, but um, that, yeah, that we're here to assist the new earth dragons with, with, um, anchoring in the lights into the new earth grids and and that's a lot of the work that they're doing so so you can offer your assistance as well to them and and to the other dragons um i have some other dragon guides as well but 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 i've had a couple people see that golden white light in my orc field you know that they can see that i work i work but yeah, Denise has just said, is it transforming of the land or have you? Yeah, I mean, the yeah, we're, Wendy and I, yeah, especially last year, we we're doing a lot of land clearing and anchoring in the light and, you know, clearing the portals like Mount Shasta in, mm -hmm. in Florida um, last year. And yeah, we're going back to Mount Shasta this fall, so. Wonderful. Oh, and then and then Appleton. We're going to go to Appleton this summer in Wisconsin. May. Yeah. So we're going to um, get a group together there and do some more anchoring into the light and Wonderful. you know, drum circles and that fun fun sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. hey, I've just Susan, wanted to get an anchoring of light using the rainbow, red rainbow uh dragon. Oh, the healing hey, energy. Susan, Susan, can I give you some feedback for you? Oh sure. So when you were when you were talking with the dragon language, um, I could I could see a, a rock, like a light blue rock, but it had faces in it, and it was like telling me that's your past lives, and I could see an American Indian and different faces that you had, even going right back to like some ancient lady that you had a male and female. I was really like, okay, why are you showing me this? But it just wanted me to share that with you. Awesome. Yeah, I know I've had, I think, a couple Native American lifetimes. Yeah, it was like I, as, yeah. as shamans, I was a, a male priest named Lyman in Lemuria and had, con, you know, control over the weather and, and stuff like that. So, yeah. Yeah, many, many lifetimes. I know at least uh, five or six galactic races I've had lifetimes in. And, and um, yeah, I am... Uh, associate with the blue ray i know wendy is too and i'm a fractal of archangel metatron and the egyptian goddess matt and mary magdalene and and the um the aztec goddess ishal and and things like that so things keep opening up all the time you know yeah. i mean i was channeling pele yeah probably about a month ago and and she she came in and told me that i am the goddess ishal and kept repeating it and that I'm a conduit for divine source energy and I saw Ishal's name and lightning and yeah it was pretty cool and saw a portal open out of my left eye and you know it's yeah so it was new stuff happens all the time <laughs> you know so it's just it's just about allowing and being open to it and it's been my life the last two and a half years <laughs> <laughs> with the awakening journey so it's been pretty awesome but but i have a lot of egyptian connections so i channel anubis and toth and ra and and you know and they feel like family to me and maybe it's that matt you know being an isis priestess and being an aspect of the egyptian goddess matt yeah i feel a lot of that egyptian connection too so 
Fantastic. Yeah. Those were the days. Those were the days. The blue ray. David, I would, this is Maureen. I was just wondering if I would be able to share some codes. Yeah, today. I was hoping you were going to share some white language. I sent you a telephone message. I'm glad you got it. Yeah, thank you. I've been feeling a lot of, um, I just hear a divine mother over and over, and I believe it's uh, grounding, you know, uh, anchoring in our unconditional love expansion through the heart. And that's something we've already worked on some, but um, oh. that's all I'm just uh, receiving to share. And uh, I begin for the highest will and good of all, most benevolent outcome. Holy <laughs> Leana yane le pokoshaya molore malashariane Seliane kolonoya mashane Leana poli mana mayana Seliana koli ana kali ana pokoli ana Seliani ha yane yana yana yano ya moya ha pokoyone Salianta yana yana koli ana kai kaliante Salianta kaya ne liana hai Aliana haliana ho Aliante pokose moyonoya ha hayo. Ale she moyamani hayanaya naya koi. Aliante boyamani ha. Kayante hayalani. Ayana haya pokoya naya ha. Hayo po. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. I was going to come in big time. Gonna to repeat back to you. Oh, really? uh, yeah, but... It's like uh, there's more mothers than just like mother. So there's mothers. Okay. They want us a conversation. Okay. Because of Ani, Hayanaya, Bocaseliana, no boy, a money. Aliana Casheliano Cotoya, money, Hayana, Moya money. Selio no Yako. Hoy in a hakei, he and I and I and I, Ki and Nia to Yana, Hai, Liana, Hai, and Yahoo, Kaye, and Loya, and I, and Yalo Yana, Hai, and Ari, Yana, who you are, and I know you are, Kau Yala, Taka, and me. <laughs> the great mothers are with you. We wanted you to know that there's more than one. You know, Sophia and Gaia. Many universes have mothers, even Isis, Mother Mary, Mary Magdalene. And each and every mother who has gifted every, given life, this life, past lives, future lives, tap into your divine feminine. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, thank you for guiding me in this way today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. 
We recognize in you. Koso moko seliane he ono yana liana kaya nea. I'm hearing divine truth. No was the mane pokodoya mane polono ne kasea naya na koya. Thank you, dear one. Thank you, Boko Sayane and I am called. Alla Oyana Kayamanai, she are a two. I love love and blessing to you. Thank you. Thank you. So fun. I just want, and it helps me understand. I, I know of like I have four mothers that I was aware of, and I feel that that's just the primary message I was always getting was divine mother with my mother in different yes um, all forms and it's such a been a theme in my own life of healing of so much of what I've healed as shadow work was lost through yes lost and loss of children <laughs> loss of healing it's all like around mothering though yeah. and so thank you for that I appreciate it <laughs> your voice so is welcome it's very storytelling it's very gentle and it feels like it would be heard by the children it's just your voice your persona your the way you your language is shared oh, as that storytelling you. element it's very gentle Lovely. it's nice that i just wanted to share that um when i very first had my very first i guess um in vision um i saw myself as a storyteller or a healer um well no an elder in lemuria i saw it as lemuria but before I even knew what Lemuria was, I just was in the shower and I saw this myself standing on a rock with a bunch of the young ones on rocks and their parents behind them. And I was of elder, you know, and grandma is one of my guides that comes through. I call her Ma. And uh, <laughs> that was me. I mean, I feel that is an aspect. That is your essence, your energy. I can feel it very strongly coming through when you speak. It's lovely. Oh, really thank good. You, yeah, thank you. It's great. The mothers had an exchange there. Though. I love that. <laughs> mm -hmm. That was beautiful. Thank you. I haven't gotten to do that much. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Really thank you. Good. Well, of course, I had the Lemurian aspect too as a high priestess in Lemuria. And I've got the mm -hmm. group, the Lemurian call to action, where people can connect and join there. And that's why we're, oh, they keep okay. calling. That, um, they keep calling us back to Shasta to come and work with the Lemurian energy. Um, mm -hmm. And then as we work there, then that energy, we go and bring that back to our locations. And as we're traveling, we're re-anchoring in that high vibration energy. And it's just assisting us to getting closer to the, you know, the 4D, the 5D and being more consistent in it. So, um, and then um, I have a, a, a guy. I'm just from north of Shasta. Oh, you are? I mean, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in Washington near Seattle. Oh. So it's a dream of mine to go there and I haven't gone come, yet since I was a child. Come and so I, I missed your date because I was somewhere, you know, up high in my consciousness. And so you can, yeah. Uh, when are you going again in September? Yeah, in September. I have an event li linked yeah. up to the page too, but I will send it to you, Maureen. So okay, yeah. thank you. Yeah, so, that's cool from the group. Oh, okay. That's yeah, awesome. <laughs> so exciting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Mm, thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. Nice to meet you all. Oh, gosh. Mm, yeah. David was there. Um, yeah. He was there right before we were. Probably yeah. probably doing clearing work. They probably called you to be like, yeah, dude, you got to get in there too. So <laughs> go do your work, mister. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I thought I was going to like, like find this like um, portal to uh, Talos or something inside Pluto's cave and then so I, I got some guy to go to Pluto's cave. And then, so I'm talking to this tree. I'm like, all right, it's so like right in front of Pluto's cave. So I'm like, so what am I supposed to do? Then it was just all these indigenous wars that happened all around that area. And to clear it, clear the land and everything. And, that whole area. and I was like, oh, I guess I'm not going to tell it. <laughs> <laughs> no land clearing buddy and land. actually susan tell him tell him about our trip to pluto's cave <laughs> Susan, where'd you go? I thought you were just there. Oh, sorry, oh, I was excited. on. I was on mute. Um, yeah, we we wandered around for like three, what two, an hour and a half about in the desert. We like circled around like three times, and we couldn't find our way to Pluto's Cave, and kept ending up back at the parking lot. And then we found like a like a fairy ring of trees. So I think the fairies were messing with us, and then finally we found somebody that led us to where the rest of the group was at Pluto's cave. But um, someone in our group, I think said that they had gone previously 
and they had an appearance of like Saint Germain there, wasn't it? And Portia outside the cave or something like that, like yeah. appeared to them. Cool. So, but it was an amazing trip. I think at least I got the message that we were like in 70 energies. Like we were just like a bunch of kids playing in the energies yeah. and everything just kind of synchronistically you know unfolded like the rain like the, they got the first rain that they've had in like two months when we were there like cleansing the land and then it cleared up when we actually went up on the mountain you know right before we no. that afternoon yeah it was amazing so you guys go to that indian restaurant place that's in town we went to the mexican one across the street from uh, where we were staying but Really I love good. Indian food, so that's too, <laughs> too bad we missed that. But so good. We'll, we'll be doing more there, more. Like a freshly baked, like um, the crust of the samosa bread is like it's freshly baked. Ah, sounds oh, so good. That so sounds good. good. So we yeah, went all the, the, the food there was samosa. awesome. I'm like, you're out of samosa. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Well, well, the the other thing that happened to me before we um, before we went on the trip is I actually saw the mountain with the portal on the side. It looked like a cave, so not Pluto's cave, but somewhere on the mountain. And I was being guided to go to Lake Suspina, which we didn't do. We were um, at Lake Siskiyou instead. So um, or Shastina, sorry, I said it incorrectly. So going to Lake Shastina. So I think. I think they're having us like this next time we're going to be like, instead of it being conference and everybody coming in and like talking and learning different things and having speakers, we're going there very loose ended where people are just, we're just going to get together. We're going to join and go, okay, let's go here, here, and here. And then kind of like following our team's guidance. And then that's, that's the energy that they want us to like imbue, embed, um, and then, and then other fun things are going to happen. And um, last time when I was there, I actually had um, the Arcturians came and I guess they beamed me up and I went to a conference and then uh, some council meeting and then they beamed me back down. I have no recollection except for somebody actually took a photo and they timed it so that you see this beam of light, which is my Facebook page image, beam of light coming down on me, streaming down from the skies. And it was like the full moon and you could see the moon coming up in the background and like Venus and I don't know what other star was back there at the time, uh, that time of the year. But you can see the stars like coming behind me and then here's me standing on a rock kind of like going like this. At and night, remember, at dusk, nighttime, yeah. Yeah, and so anyway, so no flashes or anything, but and there's, you know, as you know, at the parking lot, there's no, it's not like it's like a regular parking lot at the, like at the, uh, you know, one of the, like your local grocery store where, you know, where there's an overhead light connected to electricity, you're out in the middle of a mountain. There's no, you know, there's no lights out there. And so there's that Pl and Pluto's, down. Pluto's cave. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Out at Pluto's cave. <laughs> so, <laughs> you don't so anyway, point out there, eh? <laughs> yeah. They, yeah. So they just wanted to let me be aware that. That's cool. I was connected. And I remember like doing this for the photo and then thinking, did I just move my arm? Like for me, I just like thought, did I just like rearrange my arm or something? Cause I was like, ah, and then I like kind of like looked at my arm a second and then I was smiling at the camera and then she took the picture. And then, so I have a picture with my arm with no light. And then the next one has a beam of light and then the next one has no light. So it's like, wow, that's really, anyway, it's really cool. So yeah, so the galactics are definitely out there. The elementals are definitely out there and we're here to, you know, work and move the energy. So, um, so they're calling us back there. And then next year, they're going to be pushing us to do more international stuff. So whether we're going to be in Europe or Canada or Ireland, that's, I mean, which is, I guess, Europe, right? So <laughs> Or Crete and Greek Isles. Crete, yeah, they are, they're <laughs> calling us Crete too. So, yeah, so we just know that we're going to be traveling and like doing these like, I don't know, meet and greets or conferences or something. They keep telling us conferences, that we're going to be getting people together and doing conferences. And so because where we're at and what we're doing is like, like we're talking about that people still haven't awakened yet. And then think about where our process was two years ago. Yeah. I mean, we, there was just so much happening and coming at us and they needed people like us to guide them. And so we were kind of like, you know, we were like grasping at straws and then our group got together. And then since our group got together, then, I mean, look at how everybody is like growing and developing and look at how many, like, 
like YouTube channels are out there now and look at how many of us are like, you know, doing these go live events and, um, and then, and then the uh, combining energies, like, you know, you're meeting up with somebody because of an event like yeah. this. And then, and then as you're doing that, those, those a- additional combinations of like heart shared energy has an opportunity to bloom, to bloom and grow because like this connection in zoom, it's pretty good. But when you are in person, it's dynamic. It's exciting and dynamic. So I can totally see like if Maureen will, you know, come and drive out to, to Shasta when we're out there and come hang with us for the weekend, that will be amazing. And, um, and it's like the, uh, I think it's the last weekend in September that we're going. So it's, it's, yeah. So it's going to be, I'm actually looking at my calendar right now. It's going to be uh, September again it's full moon equinox so it's like Mm. the 21st is wednesday and so thursday the 21st 22nd 23rd 24th 25th you know leave on the 26th so whatever it's like those days like that weekend that weekend so um so we're kind of debating coming in either wednesday or thursday depending because we want more time to play this time so that's kind of where we're talking at (laughs) or thinking about and and that's the kind of a, a vacation, not vacation, but you know, I, I like to just have that open ended free to do intuitive flow as to where to go and yes. all that. And that sounds like how I work. And that's, Class. yeah. Love it. Okay. Like, we are an hour away. You drive mm-hmm. into this pure unconditional love energy. Like, mm-hmm. and, and it's an hour away. And, and the closer you get, the bigger it gets. <laughs> You're like, this is, what yeah. the heck? That's this yeah. place filled with so much beautiful <laughs> energy, right? And there's definitely galactics out there. When we were done, uh, there's me and uh, Tara Pretty and uh, a few of us that went out there. I think Ski Cohen and then uh, Araya, we met her out there. And then when we were done, all these activations and stuff, the night before us leaving, I'm standing on the ledge at the hotel. And there's, I think, me, Tara, and Stephen at this time. Uh, but uh, and we're looking out. I'm like, you guys see that 12 lights just flashing right there? I'm pretty sure that's a spaceship tuning in right (laughs) there's nothing behind it like there's a tree and then it's open there's nothing behind it right and i'm like i'm looking at it i'm like yeah it's it's like communicating just look at it it's it's flashing in a sequence right there you see that i'm like oh yeah yeah so i'm tuning into it and uh, and we we both got me and terry both got the same time the guy's mission is completed (laughs) it's like it's like Mm. that's so funny so you just don't know who's who's connecting with you what you're working with and stuff like that well you do when you tune in but really cool yeah uh shasta is so special so special but i, I definitely want to check out glass and berry that's exactly what they, they've mm. been telling me is like they've been giving me glass and berry for two years i've been saying glass and berry glass and berry glass and berry <laughs> crop circles glass and berry <laughs> so um and and i don't know that it's like I don't know how like easy access is like once you like fly in and like how do you have to get there and whatever but um yeah somebody will somebody will have to be like all right here's your your best recommendation so uh we'll have to we'll have to hunt down phil and <laughs> our cat <laughs> i'm pretty sure there's some lemurians uh or uh, television television or whatever you want to call them, in shasta as well because really really tall uh, blonde lady walking her dog when i was there and when I look at her dog, her dog had these green glowing eyes. I'm like, whoa, that's trippy. There was even trippy. And then I looked up at her and she had green glowing eyes. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, I want to go to Peru. Peru is meant to have got amazing energies. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's be a yeah. wall that you can I touch. Me too. Your yeah, Peru. Yeah. My list because, as well. yeah, because of the... Um, for Peru, they actually sent that to me a couple of years ago when I realized my Mayan aspect and um, like within, so a lot of these aspects are like DNA that you're carrying within your body because of the different lives that you've had and been developed. And then as, as being a star seed. You're so Alba went yeah. there and it just seemed to advance so quickly, but they, the experiences they had there were proper profound, you know, that really affected them for quite some time afterwards. Yeah, so I would like to go there. So I said, when, once everybody starts shifting there, anything like that, like the abilities are going to be the expansions and the abilities, our expansions are going to go faster. So I'm pretty sure 
in short order, we're going to be able to do some, some of those miracle stuffs where it'd be a lot easier to meet soul family, right? It's like, yes, manifest from one place to another. That's going to be fun. That is going to be fun. <laughs> or you just like blink. <laughs> uh, maybe that's where the maybe that's where the movie Genie came from. <laughs> <laughs> we just gotta, we just need to activate it into our world and our, into our energy fields, and it can happen. Just activate yeah. it. It's got to make well, sure that we don't merge together. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> we look like Callie with the forearms. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's that's so funny because. Um, I actually had a dream about a, uh, my dragon Pele coming in to, to like to visit me. And she actually had the, like the long extended, like a brontosaurus, like a head that like came this way. Um, and then, but I was seeing like three other heads. So I'm like, is she a four headed dragon? Like I was confused, but I was like seeing three heads, almost like a, like a grave faded. Like it was like not quite clear. And so I just didn't understand it. So, but I could see her like come in, like lean forward, like with her brontosaurus neck, you know, but obviously a dragon neck um and she kind of had like uh, she didn't at least from what i could tell i saw her more like a like a snake face you know like a reptilian kind of a face um and so she kind of leaned in and she says um i'm pele and then she said some other things like you know arcturithar or something so i don't know maybe she was speaking to me and dragon and i just heard it and just thought is that her longer name or is it Paley so I wasn't sure but but right before I saw her though and she talked to me I was floating in the air and I had this baby and I was holding this baby in my arms and we were floating and we had like jackets on um and then um and then we like lifted up off the ground with like nothing like it was just us and with the intention of going up and then for a minute I thought oh, we're pretty high. Like I've got this child. I'm like, oh, we're like really high up off the ground. Let's come back down. And so that I was like gentle, gentle. And so like, like, like focusing my energy concentration to set us back down gently. And then after we got down on the ground, then that's when I had this conversation with Pele, the dragon that like she leaned in her head like that. But right before I saw her looking up, we were kind of like looking up at the sky and in the sky, I could see a rainbow and I'm thinking, oh, wow. Like, I'm just like looking at like the sunset. It's like a rainbow color. And I'm like, wow, that's really pretty. And then all of a sudden the rainbow took shape and then it turned into um, like a Chinese fire dragon. You know how they're like a serpent. They just like float through the sky like this and so those. yeah so then so then i saw the rainbow fire or i don't know fire dragon maybe a uh, rainbow dragon uh floating through the sky and then in front of the rainbow then boom there was pele and then she like leaned in and then like i said the other dragon heads were there so whether they were other dragons like hey me too do you see me too i mean i don't know <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so it's all fun and interesting how you know how the connections are starting to grow and how we're starting to learn more and more and then of course they'd like us to have these kinds of conversations so that other people can go oh yeah i had that too or you'd like you trigger a memory or um uh or the connection like gives you an idea of like oh something else you know and so especially like with healing and the different flames and 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 things that we used you, like know. you and maureen at your uh, at your guide group level right at your at the, the mothers that you both were connected to just channeling to each other and it's like you're sitting across the table at higher self level almost just talking to each other and feeling that understanding it knowing it and that's cool to witness i think everybody enjoyed that yeah well there's definitely a telepathic connection that's happening too so um, yeah maureen, i don't know if I you're thinking, experiencing I was, that I was maureen does some light language and i was like i think she's going to want to do some light language and also she just mm -hmm. pops on and she's yeah. like, no, you know what I think? I was like, oh, I bet you she would do some light language. I would bring in some really nice divine mother energy. So she just goes on and she starts, like, I can't even make that up. And she starts, I got yeah. some divine mother energies and I'm really going to anchor in the divine mother. And, well, no, you know, the other thing, um, I, sorry, I forgot I was muted. I mean, like, and it wasn't even one specific, it was just divine mother energy. Like, you know, like I have different ones, you know, that I know come through and I couldn't get uh, that's just knowing that that specifically was what the theme was going to be uh, oh. this is so interesting huh and so and it was I was just yeah. saying oh I felt our sense of humor I like from the communication and I've had that before oh. sharing light language with others it's like I'll be cracking up you know and not fully <laughs> knowing what I you know but I get it. I kind of get it you know like they say you receive intuitively just what the other um, is sending but then it's not exactly in my logical mind, but the sense and yeah. the emotion is there. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, I've seen it a few times, if, like where people mm-hmm. are just talking to each other in light language, and, and yeah, you understand it energetically, right? You feel it. Mm-hmm. You know? mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, so when it, I wrote down your name and <laughs> yeah, I and I have light I have light language life is my group group for it's light language and down. <laughs> yeah so should anyone want to come on in that one it's still marked as a you know private group and actually and actually I wrote my my Mount Shasta locations down that I wanted to check out okay. <laughs> Lake Justine Black Butte Summit Old Ski Bowl Trail so those are like. Those are some areas I want to check out this time. And then the the headwaters. We didn't make the headwaters last time. So I want to get to the headwaters mm. this time. And of course, if we get to Pluto's Cave, we get to Pluto's Cave. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Um, yeah. Pluto's Cave. <laughs> anyway. I, would lo- I would love to go to the red, Redwood for us. Oh, that's my mind. That would be, right? that would be awesome. Too. If mm-hmm. it's, yeah, if it's not too far, uh, far out of the way to do that. Now, but. Wendy and Susan, are you both in the United States or are you? Yeah. Yeah, oh, I'm, okay. in, I'm in Minnesota, Wendy's in Illinois. Oh, okay. And then Seattle, you know, well, north of Seattle, Washington, yeah. If you guys want to say goodbye to all the people yeah. on Facebook, I'm just going to end the live Facebook part. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's yes. live. I'm sorry. Bye. It's around the whole world. Oh, she's Bye. Bye. Oh, yeah. Bye. I forgot we were even on live. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bye-bye. You know what, David? I did yeah. want to tell you, um, earlier when you were bringing in the golden light, you're like, they're telling me to bring in the golden ray. I think it was when you were adding the golden ray, not the flame, but the ray. But right before you said that, I had in my third eye like a big, just yellow, just gold, as if somebody had taken, you know, yellow and just been like that, like stuck it right in front of me and been like <laughs> yellow. So, um, yeah. so it was anyway. Everything went yellow. The whole screen went yellow in in my third eye, and then I was like, whoa, what was that? And then and then you said. I'm bringing in the golden ray or the golden fire or whatever, however you said that. So that was really cool. So speaking of telepathic connection, I just wanted mm-hmm. you to know that like that was happening as well. So that was fun. <laughs> and that happened with me when um, I think, was it Phil, you mentioned you were leading us through, maybe it was the violet flame one that, that we would see uh, like first blue. Oh, cause we were working in our third eye and then it would go to violet or something but that's what i saw right before you said it so i wanted to acknowledge that if that was you <laughs> yeah Good, thank you david thank you for thank you. Tonight. I've really enjoyed it and it connects with everybody as usual it's been amazing so bless you all and thank you and keep shining your light that's what you gotta do anchor that light in and we're good to go much love yeah. all I'm gonna go thank you there. everyone I thank agree. you everyone i have to go as well Thank I you. mean, everybody's energy is just beautiful. Right. Here, so. Yeah, I could feel all of you. <laughs> all right, Archangel Michael, make sure you like We're cut all our cords with the sword. Yeah. Make sure you're protecting and uh, uh, disconnecting us using the Archangel no. Michael sword. Guys, everybody's in the period of their life. Oh, divine. Great work, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Great work. Thank and you, thank you for calling us, David. <laughs> yes, appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Hi, Maureen. Bye. Bye. For your light language. I love you. Love to see all All, my friends' faces here. It's a huge blessing. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Oh, thanks. Bye. 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 I lost my head. All right. See you guys.